I remember being in Abilene, Texas, and every single day, like, I literally, we would get made fun of. I would get made fun of for my hearing aid, for the way that I talk. Like, I literally had to figure out ways to, to succeed. I used to get made fun of a lot. And one day, I was just like, I, I, enough. I just want to fit in. I want to be like everybody. I want to be normal. And I uh, threw away my hearing aid, threw them into a field. I sit in the front row of every one of my classes. I learned how to read lips. She was willing to miss whatever it was that she was missing just so she could look normal. One of the things that I always tried to impart to them as they were growing up is the, the idea of giving back. When Tamika was drafted here in 2001, um, she'd torn her ACL, so she wasn't able to actually play for the Fever um, during that first season. Early on, you know, during my rookie season, I'm hurt. She basically said I could either sulk or I could figure out a way to make a difference off the court. That's the first time that I met Cassandra and her family. And so I saw her, I'm like, hey, I work with girls in the court system, the juvenile system. Would you come and speak to them? And from there, she came, spoke to the girls. We've been friends ever since. She basically told the community relations director, hey, throw me into any and every community service type of activity there is. So the first year, we did a basketball camp um, over at Riverside Community Center. And it went well, it went really, really well. And after that, parents were like, well, what about next year? You know, what are you guys going to do? And so, of course, it started with the basketball camp, then the fitness clinic, then we ad added the mentoring program, and then it was just kind of like, okay, we're going to do all these cool things, but we need an umbrella to put it underneath. And that's where we came up with Catch the Stars. There are certain things that you get involved in that sort of become part of your lifeblood. And I think that's what the foundation is for those of us who volunteer. It really be, it really is a family. From there, she established a lot of really good partnerships and relationships. People saw her heart and um, her love for the community and her, you know, just her need for giving back and connecting with kids. I mean, we serve boys and girls ages seven to 18, and we provide programming around fitness, literacy, and youth development. High five! Oh, good job! We've added a scholar athlete dinner where we give out scholarship to kids. But I think the back to school celebration really came. We started giving away like backpacks. It's our 13th annual back to school celebration, and uh, we gave out over a thousand backpacks. You know, a lot of these kids, if if it weren't for things like this, would show up for the first day of school without anything. It's an amazing journey because we've helped so many people that normally wouldn't have seen. Tamika in general and wouldn't receive the services that she's offered. I watched her shake hands, touch, hug every camper. Every kid got a picture. Every kid had a personal experience with her. Honestly, for me, it's just the smiles. Like, I love the smile from the kid. I'm so glad you were able to go. That's so awesome. You might come in and have no idea what to expect, but by the time you leave, not only do you learn about Catch the Stars, not only do you get a backpack, but we had over 40 vendors that were here that dedicated their time. We had somebody cutting, you know, giving, giving haircuts. It's, it's important to me, uh, the opportunity to work in the community. That's how I met Tamika. I was a kid at one point. So she was giving back and reached out to me. And you know, here I am as an adult trying to do the same. We are so blessed to have such a wonderful, dedicated, loving, caring, um, you know, passionate group of volunteers that just really, really love what we do and love kids and love putting smiles on faces. When we first met her, when I was five and she was three, was three. she had these mentoring programs. With those, we learned how to manage money. She really taught me more than just basketball, and I'm like really thankful for that. No matter where you come from, no matter what your race, what you believe in, this is like the equal playing field. I think the biggest thing when I talk to people like me that have disabilities or, you know, that struggle even with confidence, it's always hard to see the light at the end of the tunnel. But the one thing in all the people that I've been around, through my family, through Pat, through, you know, my coaches here in Indiana, through all the volunteers, through the kids, it just takes one step. One step at a time.